Hey my loves, good night. Welcome to Crafting Machine Academy. Tonight we will be learning how to customize an Easter egg in Cricut Design Space, okay? So what I am gonna show you is how to put your text in there, how to size your text in it, and then what you need to do in order to not have such a hard time weeding your vinyl, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up Cricut Design Space. And then I'm going to show you my egg. This is the egg that we're going to, that we're gonna put it on, okay? Cute little egg. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up for you so that we can go ahead and customize it if it decides that it wants to work for us, okay? So right now we have the Cricut Design Space interface opened up, okay? So the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to click new project. And so boom, pop up our canvas will come up on the screen and I'm simply going to do just a simple text. So I'm going to come over here to my left toolbar and I'm going to type out Braxton and I'm going to come here. And the first thing that I like to do is I like to put whatever color that I'm gonna use, I like to change it to the color. So I am using yellow. And then I'm gonna choose my font. Now let me tell you something that I do like about fonts in Cricut, where they separate them. So the all is the fonts that you have on your device and also the fonts if you have Cricut access. Then you can hit system fonts. So this will be where it's picking up just the fonts that's on your device. And then here you have the Cricut fonts, where it's only picking up the ones that's on Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to choose this. I think I like this blueberry pancake. Yeah, this is cute. So I'm going to unlock it. And once you unlock it, you can come up here and change. It automatically changes it back. So I'm just gonna come up here and put it back to yellow. And then for my size, I'm gonna make this a five wide by two and a half tall. Okay, so I think I like this. Maybe I'll bring it up just a little bit. How about that? Just a little, I'll bring it up. So that way it's not as stretched out. Okay, so let me tell you, a lot of times people have, say they have trouble with, they don't like adhesive vinyl because once they go to cut it, it take it's such a hard time um, weeding it or it doesn't weed right. They don't like the way that it gets really sticky. So I'm about to show you the trick that I suggest you do when you are using 651, which is considered permanent vinyl, okay? So next, now that I have the size that I want, the color that I wanted, of course it's gonna print out on whatever color I put it on, but I just like to see what I'm doing. So then I have the Cricut Maker 3, so it gives me the option to cut it without the mat or on the mat, I always choose on the mat. And then I'm gonna come down here on the screen and click continue. Once it finds my machine, then it is going to give me my options. Here is what you do. You're going to browse all material, okay? And then you are going to, for your categories, you're gonna click vinyl. You're gonna come down and you are always going to choose premium vinyl permanent glossy, okay? You're gonna choose this no matter which vinyl you have, all right? As you can see, I made it my favorite and all you have to do to make it your favorite is simply just click the button to highlight it. So this is the line that I'm gonna choose and I'm gonna hit done. Now, here's the next trick to make it weed like butter. For the pressure, instead of it going by the default, you always want to go more, okay? Now that I have clicked more, I'm going to load my mat up. 
And it's simply just going to load that little baby up right here. All right. And I'm going to load it in. And as y'all can see, it is getting ready to work its magic. Okay. And so once again, this is going to be the egg that I'm going to place it on. And then I also have my transfer paper right here. I have my transfer tape. Okay. Transfer tape is here. Front of the egg is here. Always have you a weeder tool. Something, another tip that I would suggest is if you are a first timer, if this is your very first time trying something like this, of course I got my items from the Dollar Tree, but it's always great for you to market Dollar Tree items, okay? That's the first thing of, of the fact. If you are just starting out, do you shouldn't be marketing to anyone, but it's best to use items that you get from the Dollar Tree. That way you're not investing a lot of money. You're not wasting a lot of money, okay? However, if you are a business owner, it is best for you to bundle your products. So for Easter, you should be offering a Easter bag, a Easter cup, um, a shirt. That way... You're marketing more things. People are more likely to buy a bundle than they are just to buy one simple thing, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and unload the mat. And I'm going to show y'all this, okay? Because I really want you to see it. As you can see right here, I have the light shining on it. You're able to see the cut lines that's in the vinyl. That is really what you want to be able to see. Okay? You want to be able to see the cut line. All right? And so I'm just simply going to put this into the screen so that you can see simply what I'm doing. And if you look, while I'm pulling this to the side, it's weeding like butter. It's not getting caught on the paper. It's not getting caught on anything else. And look at this. I literally can go in the inside of the letters and just pull them out with my fingernail, okay? I can really just go in here and pull it out with my fingernail. Okay, so I know some people say, well, I design in Silhouette Studio. And that is perfectly fine. I am going to do another one showing you how to cut in Silhouette Studio. Okay, but for tonight, I just want to show you how to navigate the Cricut Design Space. So, my loves, that's my mini tutorial for the night. And I can't wait for y'all to see what our next night is going to be because by the end of the week, by Friday, Friday, my loves, we will have our Easter basket all the way together. So as always, y'all make my instructor heart so happy. Remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. And also remember, as always, craft it with Sheena. We'll get you where you need to be. Bye, my loves.